the last, the last thing that we had touched on was uh, this new wave of social technology. We had been talking before about this thing called uh, Lunch Club, just as an example. But but right now, the way it seems to me is, well, for everyone listening, as you know, when you go on Twitter or Facebook, chances that you see something uh, mean <laughs> are 100%. And so you've kind of been doing some research into into this correct and yeah you've kind of so what's what's next for social media and and these sorts of things yeah so i mean i think you have to look at kind of what exists today and you see how divisive social media has made politics uh you see how like teenage girls interact with social media and how their depression rates have spiked, how their suicide rates have spiked. And you see how social media in general has just affected everybody. You see um, more depression, you see people just feel worse about themselves. This is not a sustainable way for us to continue engaging socially online. So the question becomes, one, I think, right, what are the incentives that led to this? Uh, and then two, like, what what is next? Mm -hmm. um, and Netflix actually has a pretty good documentary that came out in the last month or two that addresses the incentives and, like, how these social media companies work to get you, like, drawn in, addicted to the platform, mm -hmm. and then just make money off you. The social so dilemma, called, right? Yeah, the social dilemma. Um, so, I mean, I think, I think the first thing, right, is the incentive driving these companies is they're super focused on just keeping your attention, mm -hmm. which, you know, it makes sense, right? That's how they make money. That's what they found to make money. Um, and it very clearly works, right? Facebook is worth $800 billion and it started in what, 2008, yeah. I think, right? Like that's, that's incredible. Um, in a bad way, seeing the effect it has on our society. But at the same time, it's, it feels disingenuous to just be like, social media is bad, social media is bad, because it has connected the world in a really, really cool way. And it has opened up these connections um, that just could not exist before, mm -hmm. right? So the question, I think, is then what's next? And what I would like to see is social platforms forming around building genuine relationships. And so what we were talking about was Lunch Club, which, so you sign up for Lunch Club, um, lunchclub.com, and you put in like your interests and your location, and then it will, you, you select a couple times every single week, and it matches you with somebody who's sort of interested in the same things as you are, um, for you to just have a conversation with them for half an hour. Mm -hmm. And I have met some very cool people through that. I think longer term, right? They need to focus more on maintaining relationships, right? It's not just about meeting new people every single time you use Lunch Club. But that seems like the right direction of using social technology to develop relationships rather than keep people trapped in an infinite feed um, for hours just to make ad revenue off them. Yeah. So are, are there other similar sorts of platforms to Lunch Club or yeah. how, is the wave moving in that direction you think? It, it feels like it. Um, so there's Lunch Club. I've used this app called Dial Up, which kind of takes a different tack uh, where you select like topics you're interested in and those topics have an associated time with them where you get like a phone call and then it just matches you with somebody else interested mm -hmm. in that topic. Um, oh, what else is there? There's something called Kappa, which it sort of does the same thing that Lunch Club does, right? You can just select people who have similar interests and then it'll send you a video call to chat with them. Um, 
Oh man, I feel like I'm missing one. But Lunch Club recently raised like $25 million. And during the pandemic, uh, with everybody at home, they have grown a ton. I'm not sure what their user number is currently. I imagine it's in the hundreds of thousands. Mm -hmm. um, but like that feels to me like how the internet should be used socially is there's a world of people out there. Mm -hmm. There are people you've never met who you could get along really well with. If there's a social platform that says, hey, you two would have great conversations and then connects you, like that just feels to me like a really positive impact on the world. Mm -hmm. Are the other people that you've met on Lunch Club or these other apps, do they kind of, do they share a similar sort of view of social media and, and kind of where they think it should be going? I, I guess when I've talked about it, I would say so. Um, we typically don't talk about that though, right? Uh, so I have no idea. That's that said, fair. that's where we met, right? So I imagine they were intrigued enough to use it. Mm -hmm. um, something Lunch Club does is it will tell you how many meetings people you've met with have had. And I've met with people who've had 60 meetings on Lunch Club. Right, so they've met 60 new people. I've had, I don't know, 10 at this point. I think the average number I see, it's a relatively new platform, is like 25 or 30. But they're just, it feels like there's a lot of power there. If you're meeting 30 new people and it's based on your interests, yeah. chances are that you're going to meet a handful of people you connect really, really well with. Definitely. I think that's cool. I'm going to have to check it out and think could be a could find some more guests for the podcast that way. but <laughs> but yeah that's uh, that's a cool thing I'm definitely gonna have to check that out um I think just so hopefully it turns out that way that social media goes in that that direction where it's a little bit less mean um but is it, it's not anonymous, is it? I think that's part of the reason, especially on Twitter, where people can be anonymous and they can just say whatever they want and there's no accountability or consequences for, mm -hmm. for saying horrible things to people. I think that's part of it. So is, is Lunch Club, it's not anonymous, is it? No. Yeah, so, and well, that goes back also to what you guys are doing uh, with By the People, where you making them verify who they are, um, sort of prevent the trolls, I guess you could say. Um, yeah. 